everyone this is Jay Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation using solvable for p method so let's get started problem solve p square plus 2x p square minus y square p square minus 2x y square into p equals to 0 solution given differential equation p cube plus 2x p square minus y square p square minus 2x y square p equals to 0. You have p in all the terms, right? Since p is in all the terms, so we'll take p common from all these terms. We'll get p times p square plus 2x p minus y square p minus 2x y square equals to 0. Then p equals to 0 and p square plus 2x p minus y square p minus 2x y square equals to 0. Okay. Now consider the second equation. p square plus 2x p minus y square p minus 2x y square equals to 0. Now, take p common from the first two terms. You'll get p times p plus 2x and from the next two terms, take minus and y square common since y square exists in both the terms, right? So, we'll take minus y square common from the next two terms. We'll get minus y square times p plus 2x equals to 0, okay? p into p, p square plus p into 2x, 2xp minus y square p minus into plus minus 2xy square. Okay. So here you have p plus 2x term in both the terms, right? So we'll take px, sorry, p plus 2x common from these two terms. So that will get p plus 2x times p minus y square equals to 0. Then p plus 2x equals to 0 and p minus y squared equals to 0, right? Fine. So now we'll find solution for 1, 2, 3 equations. So let's consider p equals to 0 firstly. Now put p equals to dy by dx. Then dy by dx equals to 0. Then dy equals to dx into 0, 0. Now in, by integrating, we'll get y equals to integral constraint c. You can also write this as y minus c equals to 0, which is solution for p equals to 0. Okay, now consider the second one. P plus 2x equals to 0. You can write this as p equals to minus 2x. Now put p equals to dy by dx. Then dy equals to minus 2x into dx. Now integrate on both sides. Integral dy equals to minus 2 into integral x dx then integral dy is y equals to minus 2 into integral x dx is x squared y2 plus integral constant c now cancel 2 we'll get y equals to minus x squared plus c again you can write this as y plus x squared minus c equals to 0 which is solution for p plus 2x equals to 0 Consider the last one.
p minus y square equals to 0. Then p equals to y square, now put p equals to dy by dx equals to y square. Then 1 by y square into dy equals to dx. Now integrate on both sides. Integral 1 by y square into dy equals to integral dx. Integral 1 by y square is 1 by y equals to integral x is integral dx is x plus integral constant c. Okay. Integral 1 by y square can be written as y power minus 2. Then integral y power minus 2 into dy will be equals to y power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 which is equal to y power minus 1 by minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 by y. Since y power minus n equals to 1 by y power n, right? Or we can write this as minus of y power minus 1. Since you are having 1 by minus 1, you can write this as minus 1, okay? So this equals to minus of 1 by y power 1, which is equals to 1 by minus 1 by 1. Okay? Then minus 1 equals to x into y plus c y. You can rewrite it as x plus, sorry, x y plus c y equals to minus 1. Then x y plus c y plus 1 equals to 0 is the solution for p minus y square equals to 0. So the combined form of these three solutions will be the required solution for the given differential equation. Therefore, y minus c into y plus x square minus c into xy plus cy plus 1 equals to 0 is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from solvable copy in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.